My daughter Kristen had so many dreams for her life. She was 31 years old when she was diagnosed with stage four squamous cell base of tongue HPV cancer. Pretty much everyone gets HPV uh, virus in their lifetime, but we were able to fight it off. It's just the few unlucky ones who are not able to that get the cancer. And until you have symptoms, you don't know, unfortunately. It was just a horrible, horrible, horrible journey. HPV stands for human papillomavirus. Unfortunately, the virus-related illnesses are on the increase. It's estimated that in the U.S. there are about 80 million people that are currently infected with HPV. And during the years of um, 2011 to 2016, we see roughly about 1,900 HPV-associated cancers reported in New Jersey um, every single year. She had pain for four years, um, some days worse, some days better. and She would just scream and cry in pain. She couldn't help it. Your heart just stops. and. You're like, that should be me, you know? Why is this happening to her? And it's just a life cut short. I mean, beautiful, talented, smart girl. You don't want to have them go through anything like this. You don't want them to get cancer. You don't want them to suffer. You don't want them to die. The vaccine would have saved her life if she had had it. This is not such a well-understood virus in terms of the need for children to be vaccinated. And that's why the partnership gets involved in making sure that children, young adolescents, get immunized, even though the parents and sometimes even the physicians don't bring a lot of attention to this well-preventable condition. What we're trying to avoid, of course, and prevent with the HPV vaccine is for your child or my child to become a statistic. And so all parents have the opportunity that we didn't have years ago to prevent any HPV-related cancers. The HPV vaccine is really effective and it's a safe vaccine. Um, there have been clinical studies that have shown that the vaccine actually um, helps prevent virtually 100% of um, pre-cancers that are associated with HPV. We as pediatricians have an obligation to help our young patients avoid those problems in the future by giving HPV vaccine to every patient at 11 to 12 years of age. We have the chance to make the greatest impact in helping them avoid disease later in life. If you have a tool within your reach to prevent a very serious disease from taking hold, why not vaccinate? It's very frustrating to know that you could have uh, saved someone's life simply by offering them a vaccine. Every cancer death is a tragedy, but losing a patient very young uh, is that much more of a tragic event. We see patients like Kristen who weren't able to receive the HPV vaccine and eventually lost her life early because of that disease. And we want to make sure that that doesn't happen to other patients in the future. Her cancer most likely could have been prevented had she had access to the vaccine. Don't want other patients to lose that opportunity. Everyone should get the HPV vaccine and get it as early as they can. If the HPV vaccination had existed when Kristen was a teenager, she certainly would have gotten it and she would be alive today living her dreams. Please take advantage of the vaccination available for your children and let them have their dreams and their life.